Hello, welcome to another Steam Deck video. Got a double whammy here. Gonna show you how to enable developer, no, d d d d developer mode and enable or install power tools. So with power tools, you can do all sorts of cool stuff. Let me just show you it off right here. You can enable and disable CPU SMT, which is fantastic for emulators and some older game games where you can get extra performance. You can change the frequency of the CPU, GPU, fan RPM, all sorts of good stuff with power tools. So yes, let me show you how to set that up. First of all, you want to go to your Steam Deck settings. And you can either click the gear icon up here or click your Steam button and go settings. That way I'll click gear icon. And from here, what you want to do is go to system, which is already selected. I've got to update, but I'll do that after. Scroll down to enable developer mode. Click it so it is on. Mine's already on, as you can see. If you enable it, I think at this point, the Steam Deck will ask you, you no, know, tell you that you need to restart for developer mode to be enabled. I think it's at this point or the next step. When that happens, just go through that. Next, you now have, if this is the point that you needed to restart or maybe after, you have developer, developer mode. And in here, you need to enable CEF remote debugging. So scroll down. So CEF remote debugging, you want to enable that. So once you've done that, and if you've had to restart it, restart it. Now click the Steam button, go to settings, go to switch to desktop. And if this, if this is the first time you're going to desktop, I'll actually show you how to navigate this as well. What I recommend, you leave it a few seconds for it to load up, because you can't use the right trackpad straight away as the mouse. It hasn't, you know, kicked in yet. So by now, it probably has. Uh, still not. Again, that's just a thing with the Steam Deck. At the moment, still not able to use it. There we go, we can use it now. To use the right trackpad, to you know move the mouse you click it in to use the left click mouse this is where it gets a bit confusing to get the right click mouse button you click in the left mouse the left trackpad okay apart from that you can use the touch screen if you want to find knowing those couple of trackpad features does help greatly so in here what you want to do you need to make sure you set a password and you can do that in terminal using the passwd command so open up the steam application launcher go to i believe it's in system console with a k and get your keyboard up and to do that you press steam and then the x button type in passwd so pass wd and there you go you can probably see it right there pass wd and now what i'm going to do I'll, I'll actually zoom in so you can see this a little better enlarge font enlarge it once more there we go okay you just want to click enter again just press steam x make sure you click enter on here Okay, so for you, you probably won't have a password set and at that point you want to type in a new password, whatever that may be. Uh, but for me, I've already got a password set so I can just ignore this. You do just need a password. It is just one of those requirements to have. And yeah, so I will just close this down. And I'll reopen the console. And because in the console, we're going to need to put in a command. And what we're going to do, first of all, open up your web browser. You can use Firefox, you can use anything else if you want to. And what you want to do is search for, and I'll provide links in the description. You want to search for Steam Deck Power Tools. Go to the GitHub link from Ingenious. And if you scroll a bit down to where it goes, Decky Plugin Loader, that's what we want to get used first. Scroll down, scroll down, and you need this particular command right here. So if you select all of that, you can just double click on it, right click, copy, open. 
the console right click paste and now press enter again press steam x press enter and it's asking for the password so i'm just going to move the steam deck and put my password in i need to see if i can remember it <laughs> That's not it. Okay, so I managed to remember the password. I had three failed attempts and then I had to do it again. Um, but yes, if that happens, oh good. Um, but okay, so now that we've installed the plugin loader we can actually install a plugin and the plugin we want to install is now power tools so if we close down the console with a k and i was looking out to because i forgot my password <laughs> and now you want to go to that ingenious link so power tools from the ingenious page And you want to go ahead and go to release. Go grab the latest version. Is the new version out? That's all good. Just grab that. This file right here. It'll pop up. Click save file. Click OK. That should all be done now. Click uh, this folder icon. And now what you want to do is right click it. So I've got an old version already on here. So I'll override it with the new version so extract two extract ah uh, no it's extracted all over here i'll have to deal with that afterwards i'll, ex I'll redo that extract mm. there we go okay so that's what we want to do is grab hold of this right click go to copy now and now what we can do is actually put this in the directory that we need to go and what you do go to home and select homebrew select plugins and it's right there so I'm going to replace this so I'm actually going to delete it It's not letting me move to trash. I'll have to do so. Figure out that after. I'm just gonna paste it onto here. Uh, mm. Having a bit of an issue here. Let me right click, copy. Okay, let's go to properties, chain permission, okay I want to be able to view and modify, okay so we can paste that one folder here, so if you do get the issue that's what you do, go to move to trash, you don't need to do that, uh, again I'll deal with that afterwards, and now that's it, we can reboot back into game gaming mode, let's go over here, either double click with the trackpad or with your finger, as a mouse on the screen. So yeah, we've enabled developer mode, we've installed the plugin loader, and we've installed Steam Deck Power Tools as well. So we can do all sorts of cool stuff. Again, make sure you're careful when you're messing around with the CPU and GPU, make sure you know what you're doing. Okay, so if we click the three dots, just down here, and if we go to the plugin, go to Power Tools, and there we go. Power tools right there. If it doesn't appear, just reboot your Steam Deck. And that's it. So that's the setup process for installing Power Tools. But this video also covered, like I said, how to install the plugin loader and also how to enable developer mode. So if you want any three of those features, feel free to watch this video. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. 
let me know in the comments what Steam Deck video you would like to see next. And maybe I might even do some Steam Deck programming. Might even do something like that. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.